Good morning. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. Good morning from Victoria, guys. I am here with my lovely friend Lane, Hi. who flew all the way from Saskatchewan at like so 5 a.m. this morning. So you must be exhausted. Just a little bit. Getting the day started. <laughs> but welcome, guys. We are in the beautiful city of Victoria, which is actually the capital city of British Columbia. It is not Vancouver, even though it's a much larger city than Victoria and we are going to be here for a couple of days just exploring the sites before we go on our Vancouver Island road trip see yes, the whole of so Vancouver excited. Island. Lane you've actually been here before right you've yes, been to Victoria. once for like an afternoon well, we'll get a few days here. We're gonna obviously see the downtown part of the city. We are staying in a fabulous hotel, which I'll show you guys later. And of course, we're gonna try the food. The food here in Victoria is supposed to be amazing. And so on that note, let's go get second breakfast yes. at this great place that we heard about called Jam Cafe. What about the self-confident girl? guys we just made it to the famous jam cafe and Lane wouldn't you say this is worth it the interior alone oh, absolutely it's so the spectacular vibes. the vibes <laughs> exactly <laughs> like we have everything going on here okay this looks spectacular I got the avocado Benny and it also has like grilled tomato comes with a hash I guess potato hash and then Lane what is this beautiful sanddwich that you have going on here <laughs> that looks so good breakfast sandwich bacon egg cheese avocado all the <laughs> right, right. Well, this is perfect. Second breakfast time. head to our fabulous hotel which is the inn at Laurel Point it's one of the most famous hotels here in Victoria and they were very kind to give us a free two night stay to get to experience their fabulous hotel so let me show you guys around
All right, guys, our room is absolutely, absolutely spectacular. I'm so excited to show you it. Uh, but let's start with the washroom. Let's start with this enormous, <laughs> there's a, even an echo, <laughs> enormous washroom where we have a shower over here and then there is a gigantic bathtub, which I am so excited for. They give you some lovely fluffy robes. And then over here we have the main bedroom area. We are in the Ericsson wing in the hotel, the newer part of the hotel. Uh, we got the queen room. It is super spacious and we have a little work desk over there. They brought us some nice lovely treats as a welcome present. And then Lane is already enjoying our spectacular view here on the water. later Lane and I are officially glammed up <laughs> and ready for dinner uh, here at Aura which is their signature restaurant. They have a super unique menu here where it's actually family style like these are share plates so if you were just ordering you know on your own you'd probably get one of each side. We're gonna try a few different things to get the full experience but it is just such a gorgeous restaurant lots of natural light because we have a beautiful view of the harbor cheers to a very amazing journey around vancouver island let's give this a try oh yeah so the first thing they brought us is this beautiful bread roll. <laughs> Always love bread. But uh, we're going to be adventurous and also try their oysters. Lane, are you a fan of oysters? I've never tried them. <laughs> well, there's a first time for everything. I'm gonna be kind, Lane. I'm gonna film my reaction. So we've got a beautiful oyster here. Let's try it. It's actually probably the best oyster I have ever had. You've had one in your life. Well, it's the best oyster <laughs> I've ever had. <laughs> what do you think, Lane? I kind of like it. You kind of like oysters, oh my god. <laughs> There's a first for everything. Yeah, yeah, it was actually really good. That was, that was good. Very nice, very nice. All of this is just spectacular. We're still waiting on the gnocchi, but we have the beef cheek, which looks great. And then over here we have the pork belly, which I'm excited for. We've got some lovely potatoes, some asparagus that Lane said was spectacular, and we are eating well tonight. <laughs> Okay, these are possibly some of the most unique desserts I have ever seen. Uh, this is an ice cream cake. I kid you not. <laughs> there is blueberry ice cream in here, a madeleine sponge, a honey lavender creme, and Lane and I believe that these are actual gold flakes. So super bougie amazing and then this guy over here is the banana mill wheel if i'm pronouncing that correctly also looks spectacular um exquisite no other words other than exquisite
attraction that they have here in Victoria that's actually kind of outside of the city, I guess. Like, there are Victoria suburbs that go on for quite a distance, but if you want to visit the Bouchard Gardens, which are the top attraction here in Victoria, you basically either need to have a car to drive there yourself, or I think there's some kind of tourist bus that you can get a ticket for that goes certain hours. Now you may be asking why is a garden, you know, the top attraction of the city? It's just a garden after all, right? But they're actually huge. Like they're enormous. Uh, they recommend having at least three, four hours to actually see everything in these gardens. And I guess they've been around for over a hundred years. Oh my <gasps> gosh, guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a deer! And a baby deer! That is so cute! Oh, can I zoom in on this? Oh my god! Oh my god! Today's the best day ever! Okay, I'm gonna honk to get... Okay. Oh, they're gone, yeah. Oh! oh that was adorable! We have arrived. I'm wearing Lane's hat. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Um, you guys, it is expensive to get into these gardens. It is 35 Canadian dollars plus taxes yeah, like per person. Yeah, 35 Yeah, my god, these gardens must be... Well, I, I assume they're Fifty amazing. 50 acres of flowers. Flowers are expensive. Inflation. I guess. It's like, I get it, but like, that is... The math is mathing. Yeah. But nevertheless, we will have at least like two, three hours to walk around them. They're supposed to have like a cute cafe in here. So it, <laughs> it will slip off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so enjoy. <laughs> Okay, I take it back. These gardens are not overpriced. <laughs> it is totally worth $35 because the work that must go into maintaining this huge area, it is so meticulously done. And even like where we are right now, the Japanese gardens, it's like, like very similar to what you would actually see in Japan. So this is super special. That says a lot. Yeah, totally. I have to give all the senior citizens who are at the gardens credit because Lane and I walked for so long and are so tired now that we need to go to one of the most popular restaurants that locals have recommended to me here in Victoria called Redfish Bluefish. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Look at this line. Oh, we're driving here and I was like, I have a bad feeling that it might be really busy. And Lane's like, don't say that. It'll come true. I what guess did it did. This is what I did, yes.
Okay, Lane. What? Redfish, bluefish. Let's give your honest first opinion, first taste. What am I trying first? Fry? Well, no, fry, no. Try fries first. Okay, fine. Try a fry first <laughs> with ketchup. Fry test. Great fries. Um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. But what we're really paying for, what we're really paying for here is the fish. So you got cod, I got halibut. Mine, mine because of the salad, comes to the same price as yours. If I would have gotten two pieces of halibut, it would have been 28, I think. 28 for two pieces of halibut. Halibut so, is expensive. Yeah, wrong. sure. But that's what we're paying for. So let's see. You try the cod. Okay, I forgot to get a knife. So. Okay, <laughs> just go for it. <laughs> Crunchy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Incredible. The sauce okay. Is so good. Well, dang it, dang it. I mean, when in Victoria, I right? Mean, you well, I'm I'm saying I'm not the kind of person that likes to wait in these kinds of lines and pay that kind of money for it. But, but if it's worth it, we but. wanted it to be worth it. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Redfish, bluefish recommended. <laughs> Well, <laughs> we have come to the end of our spectacular time here in Victoria. Lane, thank you so much for coming along for this fabulous trip so far. Oh. There's more to come, but how would you kind of sum up our time in Victoria? It was beautiful. Mm -hmm kind of tiring we did a lot yeah we actually but like did do a in lot, a good yeah. way in yeah. the best way mm -hmm. and it was just pleasing I think that's the word yeah. is pleasing it's a very pretty city the food here amazing has been phenomenal <laughs> amazing the gardens were breathtaking and obviously one of the top things that we got to do is stay at this amazing hotel <laughs> so a big thank you to the inn at Laurel Point for having us this was like it was it was unforgettable, like the view, mm -hmm. the location, the yeah. service, the food, everything was on point. And I'm not just saying that because we got a free stay, like it was actually this phenomenal. So if you're looking for an amazing place to stay in Victoria, I'm gonna put the inn at Laurel Point in the description. They didn't ask me to do that, but highly recommend. And yeah, I guess the next time you guys see us, we will be going to Lane, Tino. Lane's favorite place, Tofino. So that is what is on the agenda next. Stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye, guys. Bye.